Hi, with this news is your local election headquarters. The upcoming fall election dates could be similar to Rhode Island's June primary. About 83% of all ballots in the presidential primary were cast by mail. And this morning, a coalition of organizations, along with the Secretary of State's office, introduced details for new legislation to keep voters safe and healthy. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie was on the video call and has more. The Safe and Healthy Voting in 2020 Act does not eliminate in-person voting, but it does make efforts to vote by mail easier and keeping those who want to vote in person safer. Rhode Island Secretary of State's office reports more than 80% of all votes in the presidential preference primary were cast by mail. Versus less than 5% for the same election four years ago. It was a remarkable transition in a very short period of time. There were some problems. Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea noted some mail ballot applications for the June primary were undeliverable, but that's not as disheartening as it sounds. The, the undeliverables from the mail ballot applications are absolutely helping us maintain a cleaner voter registry. While this work is being done, the coalition involved with the bill, dubbed the Safe and Healthy Voting in 2020 Act, hopes to get preparations underway sooner than later. It is essential that we prepare now for the electoral procedures that have to be in place for September and November. Uh, we know they're going to be very high turnout elections. Since social distancing guidelines and limits on large gatherings will continue into the fall, Gorban noted this will make it difficult to find enough adequate polling locations. There are places like nursing homes, assisted living facilities, and senior centers. Those will likely be out of the question. However, the bill would still allow in-person voting, and it would establish a 20-day early voting period for voting done at the polls. It also extends the deadline for ballots to be received three days after the election, if postmarked by Election Day. The proposed bill would only apply to voting in 2020. We have all the details on WPRI.com. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.